Stay tuned. This is Best in Business with Manny Lopez on Radio Latino Inc. All right, guys. We're ready for behind the scenes, section two, segment two, rather. So our next segment, we're going to have Caleb Maddox and his dad, Matt Maddox, on Radio Latino Inc. It's going to be fun. Man, he had a cool little audio intro. Do we play that every time we come back in? Sweet. Welcome to our man of the hour, Mr. What's Manny up? Lopez. How you doing? Too blessed to be stressed. You know How long me. does each segment last? 20 to 30, 30, minutes. 30, 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes if you guys are boring. 30 minutes if you guys are good. Uh, so 40, 40 minutes. minutes. <laughs> 40. 40 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Ain't that right, buddy? It's like we, could, we just had to skip the song. We just had to keep going. Okay, we're ready. All right. Let's go. Let's, let's do, do it. We stay quiet, right? Go live. It's all gonna be fun, man. Just have a blast. Remember, just like Gregory says, roll with the flow. Audio cuts out. Oh well, we'll roll with the flow. That's right. You got it, bro. You're a champ. You got that. All right, we are back here with Best in Business with Manny Lopez on Radio Latino Inc., where passion becomes success. We are here with a very special guest right now. His name is Isaac Lopez. He is the founder and CEO of Kids Art with Isaac Lopez. It's a mobile app that you guys can download through the app stores, Google Play, Apple, and it's all about art. So thank you for coming on the show today, Isaac. Welcome to Best in Business. And I have a couple questions for you. Question number one, what made you start Kids art with Isaac Lopez. Where did this idea come from? Okay, so I had this passion about drawing and doing art. So I asked my dad one time, and I said, Dad, I want my app. He told me, well, I don't make games for kids. I do it for businesses. And I was like, well, okay. And then we started making up ideas, and that's how we got Kids Art with Isaac Lopez. And he built the app. And I started going to events and starting promoting my app to people, and people started downloading it. And I tried to get more business and stuff, but um, it worked out. And with the app, it's like a little mini me, and it's, it's pretty cool how it works. Cool. So you wanted to start your own app because I build apps? I mean, what, what was the idea behind you wanting to have your own app in it anyway? Because I had a passion of drawing. Passion of drawing. Okay, so you wanted to put that inside of an app in some way. And now, what got you to think in an entrepreneurial mindset? I mean, most kids your age just want to play video games, right? Yes. Well, I have this. I, if I have a passion, I'm going to make that passion work. I just don't. Most kids, they have this passion, but they don't do anything with it. They'll, like, go to school and start selling stuff, but... I used to do that too. I used to make these comics, little comics, and used to sell them for a dollar each. But and then it started working out that way. But it didn't work out that much as well with my app because my app is now I'm like getting more successful by my app. Like mostly, it just helps me way, like way better than just doing the school thing I used to do. Now I think a lot of that can be contributed to branding. I mean, you're walking into an event or a place or having a conversation with somebody and immediately you have something that you could show them of value that says, here is my passion in a very structured and valuable format, right? It's not just, oh, I draw pictures and here's some pictures or hey, I have this little scribble thing I can do, but I have an app, you know, I have something I can literally put this into and automate yourself. Yes. Now, what got you into art? Why do you like art? I don't know. I was like, I was just born with it. I was like... So, I, like, I had this, I was bored of doing, just sitting around the house or doing video games. I was bored of that. So, I was like, let's do something fun with actual nature. So, I used the pencil, got some paper, and just started drawing. And with my body, I, f like, felt good doing that. It was, like, it was, like, meant for me. So, it, it brings you joy, brings you yes. happiness. Awesome. Yeah. What kind of advice would you give somebody your age 
that maybe isn't very happy. You know, maybe they come home and their home isn't very exciting to come to. Maybe there isn't a lot of opportunity for love and excitement for them. What do you say to a kid like that? Well, that's a really good question. Well, what I say to them is that, well, you can do something with, with something. Like, if you have, let's say if a kid likes to play video games, you could do videos. You could have an app, thanks to my dad, like me. Um, I have this app about my art, but if he likes to do video games, we could do, like, um, videos of him playing video games, and you could see him do Chico's or something. Like, if whatever he loves to do, you could do something with that. Everybody has something they could do. So you're telling me that no matter what they love to do, it could be playing video games, right? Yes. It could be doing whatever it is, right? Yeah. They have something they love to do, but you can turn that into, what, a business, an app? A business, mostly anything. Mostly anything. Okay, cool. So what your advice is is really to tell kids, find something you love to do, something that makes you happy. Yes. And turn that into a business or turn that into something where you could, you know, make that your life's work, right? Yes. That's cool. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Perfect. So when you, let's say, because you're always telling me stories. You come home from school, and you're always telling me about the kids that are doing this, doing that. Yes. What would you say is the biggest common denominator, right? What is the average? What is everyone pretty much doing at your age? I mean, people want to know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a parent. Uh, I've got kids in school. Most people listening here probably have some kids as well. And they're in elementary school. What is it like for somebody 10 years old right now? going through the schooling system? Well, most kids, they just do something, like if they just play around, they don't, usually if they have a passion, they just, like like I said, they don't do nothing with it yet. But with me, I actually did something with it. I had that passion, so I was like, why am I not doing anything with this passion? So I asked my dad, that's why I wanted my own app. Okay, so what do you mean by do anything, like doing something? Like, you have a passion of art. Why can't you just draw art and not sell it? Why do, why do you need to turn that into a business? Well, just art. It's plain old art, but I want people to know art equals happiness. Art equals happiness. Let me repeat that. Art equals happiness. I think that's a very true statement because with art, it's a, it's a, a form of being ex of an expression, right? It's an expression of what you... Um, think of in your mind what you want to see of something, how you want to present it to the world, and that could be translatable to pretty much anything, right? I mean, you look at um, you know my type of business; it's art. I'm I'm literally creating designs for people in a visual sense in an app format. You do that in a visual format and a lot of other ways that you produce your art. Uh, but I think that's that's very true. Now, Louis. I know you, you've been dying to ask a question yes. here. I see, I see you're just like, man, let me in, let me in. I need to get in here. All That's right, go funny. ahead. Funny. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you know, Isaac, first, you're a very impressive young man. I got to tell you this. Thank you. Um, you know, 10 years old, right? Yes. 10 years old, most 10 years old people, you know, kids, they just want to go out and play outside, Xbox, video games, Disneyland, all this. I have not seen not one kid saying out there, I have an app. I, wanted, I, I want to help people. And so let me ask you this. What was what inspired you really to, to do what you're doing? I mean, in your young age, w w tell me, what's, what's, this, what's that secret? What's that inspiration? My dad. Well, my dad, he had what? his own business, and I was like, um, he had his passion. He wanted to be something, and he did something with that. So I had this passion too, and I was like, well, he has a business. I want to have a business, too. Like, I always wanted to be like my dad. And it's because he's, like, he's a really cool dad, too. Awesome. I am pretty cool. We'll have, <laughs> yeah. to, we'll have to admit yeah, that. Yeah. Now, I think that's a really good uh, success secret right there is being the example for your children. You know, you're, you're either going to grow your children up to do one of two things. They're either going to want to be like you or they're, they're going to want to be not like you. And what example do you want to set for your children? Right? Do you want to show them that it's okay to be a slave to a nine to five or to not follow your own dream or build someone else's dream or to build your own dream? Right? My, go ahead. 
Yeah, same time. Okay, so um, I don't want my kids to be like me. I want them to be better. Like you always say to me, it's like I don't want you to just to be like me. I want you to be better. That's true. I always tell it to him. I'm always because he's always like, Dad. Because a lot of people tell me like, Oh, your son's gonna take over your business. I'm like, I hope not. Right? I really don't want him to take over my business. I want him to create his own dream and live his own dream. I don't see my son being an app developer, <laughs> right? Um, I see him doing a lot bigger things than I'm doing. And so that's, I think, a really strong thing you need to uh, think about when, when working with your mentoring of children or mentoring of your own seed, in a sense. It's, you've got to have that fortitude to see that creating excitement around who you want to be is going to translate to the people around you. You know, can I have one one quick quick thing to 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 mention here for for Isaac, Isaac. Um, so most adults have this fear of talking in front of people, presentations, doing this. Tell me your take on that, Isaac. Okay, so at Secret Knock, Caleb said, just don't care about what people think about you. That's it. So don't care about what people think about you. Yeah, if they don't Sometimes like you it. gotta break it down that simple, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I am gonna write that down and I'm gonna I'm gonna read it every day. Because you're right. It this don't it's not it's not for you to worry about what others are doing. It's for you to worry about what you're doing. Exactly. I mean, if you cared about what everyone else thought, you would never succeed. I mean, how can you possibly please everyone? It's just not possible. Uh, if you guys have some questions, feel free to start throwing them in here. We are live with Isaac Lopez, creator and founder and CEO of Kids Art with Isaac Lopez, the amazing app. Now, I want to ask a question. and I, I pretty much know all the answers to these questions because I've, I've been asking him these questions all his life. But where do you see yourself? in 10 years, when you're 20 years old, before I even found my first mentor, I found my first mentor at 21 years old. And before then, I was pretty much lost. I didn't know what I wanted to be. I didn't, all I knew is I had a family to take care of. And it's just, you got to go out there and you got to create. You got to do, you got to take action. So for me, I, at 20 years old, I couldn't even see where I was going to be at at 30. I knew I wanted to have my own house. And, and that's kind of the only thing I saw was to have my family in a house that was ours, that was big enough to make us happy, right? That, that's really the main bucket list I had. Where do you see yourself at 20 years old, Isaac? Well, I want to be an artist, and I want, I want to be that different kind of artist. I don't want to be those ones that always draw the same like those other artists. I want to be different. You know Picasso? He's, like, different to those other artists, too. I know Picasso. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> this is his last name. <laughs> My last name is Picasso. Well, if, because since Picasso, he's different in drawing that, that kind of way he does it. I want to be different to other artists, too. Okay. I don't want to be that same person. I want to be that different person. Okay. So you definitely see yourself in the artistic space doing something revolutionary different. I like that. I like that. I mean, who, who wants to just be generic, right? I mean, yeah. really. If you're generic, you're, you're boring. And when you're boring, you don't, uh, you don't resonate with people. And creating success has a lot, of being, a lot to do with being unique. And I think that's a lot of thing what I did in my business is when I created my name in the industry, you know, I'm not, you know, you compare me to another app developer that's out there that does what I do, there's just really not another person that does it the way I do it. So I came on the scene with a very unique way to present mobile marketing and mobile apps, and it's gotten me to where I'm at today. You know, it's, it's a very unique uh, position. It's funny because I get contacted by app developers all the time saying, Manny, how do you do it? How do you have all these influential people you're working with? And for me, I, I, it's, it's a simple one-word answer. Serve. Serve. When you go out and you find a way to serve the people around you, they're going to open doors for you. They're going to open opportunities. You cannot do this by yourself. You cannot create success by yourself. Yeah, and you know, the other thing I was thinking right now, man, you know, you're not just you're just not the average kid on the basketball court in school. You, you know, I mean, so what do your friends think about what you're doing? Well, they think like, how do you really own your own business at the age of ten? I'm like, because I have that passion that I want to do something. But they're, uh, like, it's the only thing that's the answer is, like, somebody can do something. Right. That's so that when you, set, when you 
when you say that to them, do they look at you all weird? I mean, yeah, they look at me weird. It's like, what are, you, what are you trying to say to me? Right, right. Like you're just some. Like you don't make no sense. No right. sense, right? This is not Minecraft, is it? <laughs> all right. So well, I, I, another question. I, I, this, yeah, he, he I just, just intrigues me. What does your teachers think about what you're doing? Well, my teacher, Mr. Gott, he he thinks about me. He's like, uh, wow, you already own your own business, and he's working as his teacher at my school. Uh, my school and um, I'm working as a entrepreneur and a business owner. Wow, wow, I, I uh, Manny, I can I can go on and on with this with, with this kid. <laughs> this guy is awesome. Oh yes, he definitely is. He's one of my favorites. <laughs> I've got I've <laughs> got yeah. Favorites. I have to be very clear here because this is definitely going to be viewed by my uh, children in a later age, and uh, they're going to be like, ah, oh, see, I knew, I knew. <laughs> no, but um, uh, I, I see him as my little mini me. You know, er everywhere I've been bringing him to events since he was five years old. I still remember today I had the actual picture of him setting up one of my little retractable banners, and he couldn't fit because he was so small. And he's trying to put it up there, and I've got a picture of him. So, so Manny, so tell yeah. me. All right, so yeah, obviously, okay. I'll be honest with you. I didn't know that he was your son mm -hmm. until about twenty minutes ago. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I didn't. I didn't know. I mean, I figured. God, these these guys look exactly alike almost you know but okay so so what do you what do you think what what have what what's the secret to the success that you've had with your children I see the success I've had with my children a lot being my wife um, my wife has been a very strong um, role model in a sense for me to be better so I, if it was just me by myself, I can guarantee we would not be here today. We would not be in this situation because my wife has made it very clear for us to be able to stay on the right path, to stay structured, to have value when we go out there and, and, and put ourselves out there to the world. And she's there every day, you know, reading with them, uh, doing the things that a mom does, you know, the homework and right. keeping them right. uh, on track and making sure that, right. hey, did you get all your stuff done? Right. You know, I'm more of just the authority figure. I come in and I just tell everyone what to do, but she's the one that gets all the work done. And it's like, um, I see the biggest success in is definitely being that example. Yeah. Because he would not be where he's at today if he didn't see me doing what I'm doing. Right? right. Just like you yeah. were saying, he, he watched me have my own business, which inspired him to have his own business. Yeah. You know, think about it. If your kids are watching you, what are you showing as the example? Right. Are you showing them how to be an entrepreneur? Are you showing them how to overcome adversities? Are you showing them how to stay committed in your relationship? Are you showing them how to be a man? You know, I have a, a book that I'm going to be writing called, well, I guess I can say it doesn't matter, 88 Life Lessons to Teach Your Children. And it's the things that I've always wanted to know. Sometimes I didn't get to learn some of the things I wanted to do growing up. The, so I'm going to learn them and then teach my children and document that yeah. entire process. Yeah. And I think it's, it's very important as parents that we bring a very unique value to these children because they are our next generation. Yeah. We can't just think of our own success. You know, our success has to be a way that we're serving others. You know, Manny, you have just earned so many credits with your wife right now. <laughs> I mean, right I now, hope so. You, Are you listening, girl? You, She's watching. She's watching. Right. She's watching. Okay, well, thumbs up. You know, uh, great job. You know, I think I think uh, women are the, are the, the pillars, you know, of, of, every, of every home. And you know, it's funny is that women have been the entire pillars of all of this success I'm having very recently. Yeah. You know, my wife, of course, of just the main success of right. making sure I'm, I'm focused and, and structured. Then I've got my producer, Sonia, for the radio station here. Um, she's helping put all this together, and I've got a, a TV show we're putting together, and that's being put together by another woman in, in business. So, I mean, it's amazing once you understand the power of what women can bring to the world, lives are changing. You know, it's not a man's world anymore. Yeah. You know, we're open to social media in a way where anybody can connect to anyone in the world, and in essence, in really in, in a very short amount of time. So, back, back to Isaac. You know, you know, Isaac, I, I think, I mean, you have a wonderful father here. Uh, no, no question, you are um, blessed uh, beyond uh, uh, means for having a, a support system that you have. So what do you, what do you foresee yourself doing um, in the future? I know you're only 10 years old, and I can't really believe I'm asking the 10-year-old this, but what is, I mean, what's your, what's your next goal? Like I said, I want to be unique. I, I don't want to be like those the same people. Because I heard this from 
from somebody, society grows on one mind. Mostly that. Mostly people think the same. Right. If people, like, art, you could do a sandwich. That's art. Yeah. Just it's something that that's creative. Well, I, I can tell you, most most kids at your age don't think like you. So you are unique already in itself. I mean, I I, I, mean, I think everybody would agree here. Uh, I, I think you are unique in your own self at ten years old. The things you've accomplished, what your mindset is, what you're doing in the future, what you're doing today, what you're doing for others is important. So, uh, you know, hey, fist bump, man. All right. <laughs> awesome. So. Let's get into some uh, questions. Do we have anything from, from Facebook here on, uh, on what you want to ask Isaac, 10-year-old entrepreneur, app creator? Give us an idea why those questions are coming in. Give us an idea of how your app works. What does your app do? Why, why would somebody want to download it? Because they could learn about what I actually do. It tells, it's mostly everything that's in the app. Mm -hmm. It's like, like I said, it was, it's like a little mini-me. <laughs> so it's like yourself duplicating. Okay, yeah. but for a user, right? They download the app, and what can they do with it besides okay. learn about everything about Isaac? Well, I had this new thing. It's a coaching program. Okay. Um, so these um these people, if they download my app, they could um there's this what's it called um they could if they download my app they um there's this new thing. It's a coaching program. If they have children, um they could um buy it. Mm -hmm. And um, it could teach their children of okay. how to draw. Now, I helped them put all this together, so I'll give you guys a quick 60 seconds of what it really does on exactly how the coaching program works. So basically, the concept would be is they download the app, they can click a button, it goes into a coaching program that Isaac is in video format showing people step-by-step -step how to draw. So it could be stuff like, hey, how to draw a cat, right? You're going to get a piece of paper, you're going to draw before at the top, after at the bottom, and you're gonna draw your cat, right? And then you draw it before Isaac does any teachings. And you know, just draw it out. He's gonna tell you, draw this, draw that. And then go to the next video once you've done this step. Once you go to the next video, it then tells you, okay, this is how you draw a cat. Isaac then sits there and tells you, you're gonna draw your ears like this, your tail like this, your legs like this, your stomach like this. And then says, all right, now your turn. Draw your version now after this teaching I've just given you on how to draw a cat. And that is your before and your after. And then the concept is go to your mom, show her the before and after, and now you've got your social proof of how easy it is to learn how to draw. So it's a really unique concept, very simple, just straight video coaching to show you step by step how to draw dozens of things. You know, drawing uh, uh, one of his favorites, what's that night sky thing? Tell him about that part. Oh, okay. So I have this thing that we're going to do. Um, we're, I'm going to draw a sky, it's um, a light. When it's um, with sun out, but then after that we're gonna draw it, or I'm gonna draw it with, like when the sun is out and the moon is like there. Nice. So it's gonna be like dark and light. Nice, and all in the same picture. So I think it's yes. gonna be pretty cool. So if you guys want to learn more about the, uh, I uh, the Kids Art app, you're gonna go to the App Store, Google Play, App Apple. And just search for Isaac Lopez, I-S-A-A-C-L-O-P-E-Z. You'll find Kids Art with Isaac Lopez right there. If you search for Kids Art, uh, you're going to get a bunch of apps. So there's a lot of apps called Kids Art, or not called Kids Art, but that key word, those words. But Isaac Lopez, you'll pull it up right there. Um, books. So books are very important. Uh, we already know who your mentor is, which is me. Uh, yes. But we, we, we want to understand, because there's, I think, two things that are really important for any entrepreneur out there, if you want success, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a mentor, and you're gonna need to read books, right? Uh, a great man once told me that in five years, you are the same except for two things, the people you meet and, and the, the books, books you read. read. Exactly. And that concept is very, very powerful. And it's true, because in the last five years, I've met some pretty amazing people that has literally changed my life. And the only way I could have done that is to go out there, take action, be a value, and serve. So books. Uh, books I'm reading. Uh, well, let's go to the books you're reading. So Caleb Maddox, who is going to be on our next segment, uh, is a 15-year-old entrepreneur, very amazing at what he does. And I got the chance to hear him speak very recently at an event called Secret Knock, and the kid blew my mind. Um, he's going to be coming up very shortly. He's already in studio. And he had mentioned a really awesome concept about 
something to do with chores. Now, we're not going to talk about it now because we're going to wait till it comes on our segment. So you definitely want to be on that segment and listen in. Uh, it's a very unique concept of how to motivate your children from chores to success. All right? So it's a pretty cool concept. But Isaac, books that you're reading, name, I would say, you know, what kind of, well, okay, you have this thing called AR and school, right? It's this advanced reading, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. And they yeah. give you lists of books to read and they give you points and that kind of stuff. Now, he kept bringing home book after book after book after book. And it was, to say the least, not impressive, right? We're, we're, these books have no concept of real value in it, from what I'm seeing, right? Um, it was just like, you know, Captain Underpants and stuff like yeah. that. So I'm like, it's just I don't to entertain know. you. I, yeah, entertainment Captain books in a sense. I and mean, you're nothing you're really learning. Is there any books right now that you're reading that, uh, that would be throwing it in the concept of creating more success? Think and Grow Rich, um, Three Feet from Gold. Think and Grow Rich and Three Feet from Gold. You're reading both those books? Um, no, I'm reading just that one, like all together in that one. Okay. If you know what I mean. Okay, so. Three Feet from Gold, I saw you walking around with that book recently. So is that the book you're reading right now? Yes. All right. And then what would you say so far that you're reading? I don't know how far you're along into it, but is there anything that you've learned so far reading that book? Yes. Well, I, I said this to my dad before. We're at this the store, and I was like, Dad, I just made this new saying. Um, don't take the shortcut, take the hard way. And when I was, when I was reading it, um, there was this um, chapter and it was about, um, it was saying about in Think and Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill. And it was one part that there was this guy named Dar Darby, mm -hmm. and his uncle wanted to go gold mining. Mm -hmm. So, but when they went gold mining, they didn't know how to gold mine. So they just picked up the pickaxe and started hitting the rocks. But, but it didn't work. Actually, they did. They find a bunch of gold, mm -hmm. but, um, but it was covered with rocks. So they had to get those rocks off, but then they couldn't. Mm. And then they so they sell the they sell this thing to burn off the rocks mm -hmm. and then they gave it to a junk man. Junk man. And then he he spent decades of how how to gold mine. Okay. And that's why you never quit from three feet from gold because that junk man junk man he he started um gold mining and, and three feet <laughs> away from where Darby um quit it and his uncle mm -hmm. was a big, big chunk of where gold was, and he made millions. The wow. junk man. So that's why I never quit. Never quit. So that that is a very awesome concept. And let me kind of explain that in the very simplest of forms. It's a very simple concept that you do not give up when you are persevering and you overcome. You're you're you know getting challenges in a sense. You know, Darby he was trying to get gold, go mine gold. And he did not have the experience. He went there inexperienced, didn't, didn't spend any investment into himself to understand the knowledge of gold, and decided to just go out there and try it. He didn't have success, he got discouraged, and he quit, like most people do. Right? Most people, they find that first hurdle, and they think they can't get over it, and they mm -hmm. stop, and they just go back to doing something that they're used to doing. And the concept with Isaac and this three feet from gold uh, that he's now understood is that you can't give up just because you face adversity, right? You have to keep going, keep fighting, because you just never know how close you are to that breakout success. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank you, Isaac, for coming in today. Um, we're going to have you co-hosting our next segment with Caleb Maddox, so you guys tune in, stay tuned in. I want to thank Louis Picasso for coming in all the way from Arizona to fly into L.A. to come uh, hang out with us today. It's my pleasure. And uh, is there any last words you want to leave, uh, Louis, with the, with the show? Well, you know what, Isaac? I want to see you in about 20 years. I have two daughters. Would love for you to meet them. You're a fantastic little, little boy. I think you're, a, you're, 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 you're going to be a, a fantastic influence in, in the coming years. Uh, no question. I think your father is doing a wonderful job. Your mom is doing a wonderful job as well. Um, and continue the good work. Appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure awesome. meeting you. So this is Best in Business with Manny Lopez, where passion becomes success. And we are live on Radio Latino, Inc. Stay tuned for our next segment. We'll be right back. Take care. Can we talk? All right. Yes, we are going to Come on. That was fire. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That, that was your first awesome. interview? This is yeah. first ever right. interview. Right. Wow. Dude, you're ready for TV now, bro. You got the personality <laughs> right. for it, man. That's awesome. Bro. Hey, tell my Facebook Live where they get that app again, bro. Hmm? On the App Store or the Google App Play? Store. Go to the App Store right now and do this. What do you search? Kids are with Isaac Lopez. Or just Kids look up Isaac Lopez. Kids are with Isaac Lopez. Make sure you guys do that, my friends, Good because job. this young entrepreneur is killing it. Caleb, right. what do you think of that? Was that awesome or what? Dude, this dude's fire, man. I was just sitting there. I posted on my Snapchat a whole bunch. I was like, this dude is a natural. He really yeah. is. This kid's only 10 years old. Are you guys he, he gets it from watching you, too. I can tell Yeah, you started his own app. <laughs> it's called Kids Art. How much time do we have until the next segment? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Oh, cool. We're oh, good. Kids yeah. Art. Um, With Isaac this kid's Isaac. interview was insane. I mean, 10 years old. Um, Young entrepreneur. We met him at an event. So impressed with he and his dad. There's his dad right there. The one and only Manny Lopez. Manny the man Lopez. Dude, what's your best advice for every parent out there, man? For every parent, I would say serve and be the example. Mm. Right? I mean, you have to go out there and you have to create success or create a way for you to bring value to the world and make that duplicatable for your kids to be able to follow. Mm. Not necessarily to be able to follow exactly what you do, but to follow the success principles that you outline and you, and you, and you, uh, you structure for them. Mm. Because what they will, they will always do what they see, right? Or they're going to turn into somebody that doesn't like that concept and they don't want to be anything like you. Mm. So do you want to have you know, your kids later in life say, I want to be just like you, Dad. I want to be just like you, Mom. I, wanna, I, I value what you've taught me. Or do you want them to be like, I hate you, Mom. I hate you, Dad. You taught me everything I, I didn't need in life, right? Mm. So be a value and serve. I would That's say it's old there. right there. That's the father of the famous Isaac Lopez. This kid's going to be famous, y'all. Wait, you see, man. Ten Same years old. <laughs> already has his own business. Make sure you download right, guys, the app. Catch you on the next segment. Stay tuned. This is Best in Business with Manny Lopez on Radio Latino Inc.